So here at Soul Shine Arts, we'd like to invite you to be part of this beautiful and wonderful medium that we are here to expose as many people as possible to. Yeah, I get excited. <laughs> so are you ready? My name is Willow. I've been blowing glass for 19 years, uh, mostly on the west coast. Uh, we relocated to Cedarburg last year. I fell in love with glass as a child, always been mesmerized with the medium. I think I'm mostly in love with the spiritual aspect of glass boy, the, the ethereal concept of glass, the liquid form, how it moves and flows being able to be one with the fire, be in control of the fire, feel the fire in your hands. I love the way the glass moves and flows and forms. I like to wake up every morning and paint my dreams. Feel the cathartic release of emotion and the healing process as I can express how I feel day by day. Each piece starts in my head. Sometimes it's a shape, sometimes it's a color, sometimes it's a form. They roll around until, every, until they finally come out. And when they come out, they, they're born. And when they're born, it's like a birthing process. They come out in their ethereal format. and It's a beautiful process. With the help of my wonderful wife, we get to give birth every day to all these beautiful, beautiful children that we have. One of the really awesome things about glass blowing that I like is that Willow and I work as a team. Uh, it's inspired both of us to do and make this incredible glass art and business that we've created um, grow to, uh, I think, unreachable, almost unimaginable places that we didn't think of when we first started to blow glass together. Today I made a amber rondel, asymmetrical rondel wall art piece. It's going to be three or four together with some wild pieces together for a wall installation for a client. I really enjoy doing those types of projects because they let me be more creative and expressive. I don't have to fit within the mold, so to speak. I can be myself and allow me to express how I feel and let the glass be the glass. Uh, the best person in the world to work with is my wife Deborah. I love working with her. She can flow with me and dance with me and move with me all in one. She can predict my move. It's almost like we dance together every day when we blow glass. And that's one of the things we love about working together. We have our couples class here at Soul Shine Arts. We teach people to blow glass as a couple together. And it's just an extension of how we work together too. Uh, it's a perfect combination. Glass blowing is a team sport and it's very hard to do by yourself. And so that's why it works so good together. We, we saw how well we work together and we thought what a perfect thing to have other couples come in for an alternative date night or fun event and work together. And it works well, and that's one of the fun things we do here at Soul Shiner. Damn, I can't wait to blow more glass. Every day I wish I could just blow more glass. I have to work too, so. <laughs> uh, every night I dream of the things I want to make the next day. Uh, sometimes I've found that I need to write down my dreams now because there's so many things that come so fast, ideas of the next piece of glass and the next piece of glass that I can't make them fast enough. So uh, it's a very exciting medium to work with. And I love the fact that it's an ancient art that's been going on for thousands of years. And I'm super excited to be part of it. There are the times when, of course, the glass has a mind of its own. And at that point, I give myself freely to the glass 
and the glass becomes a beautiful work of art. Whether it was my plan or my vision to begin with, as I work with the piece and I work with the medium, the glass becomes a new vision, maybe better than the vision that I had hoped for in the beginning of my thought or my process. Yeah. We're here at Soul Shine Arts in Cedarburg, Wisconsin. We have live glass blowing demos five days a week, Wednesday through Sunday. You can find us on the web at www.soulshine-arts.com.